Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning back in, Chase here. And today's video is uh, my thoughts on gem pricing in Dragon Quest Tact. Uh, the other day I caught Malcolm in the Discord and I brought up that I think the game is really lacking affordable options for a certain tier of players that could be made up for by event sales, perhaps uh, sales that come with every banner or major celebrations, etc. And I pointed out that I think this pro this game is from what... Uh, okay, I, I compare this to my last uh, gotcha, Dokken Battle, which the last time I checked is extremely popular. I think it's the second highest grossing uh, out of mobile games. Although, I don't know, that was a list somebody else showed me. Uh, I don't know the official source. I know that it regularly makes top grossing in many countries app stores uh even more uh, often top grossing in japan uh it's a very similar situ situation to dragon quest tact the game is about six months ahead uh in japan compared to global and similarly we get uh most of their events about six months later um holidays get changed uh sometimes we have slightly different events but uh, i think it's going to be about the same uh, you know, with, uh, copying content with the occasional new thing. Um, that said, um, Dokken was about the same. They didn't have sale packs for a while, and I never touched paid, um, in that game as Dragonstones. I never, ever touched them until they started having event sales. Um, I think in most gotchas, the... Standard prices are too high for many people. Um, back to what I started on before, I feel this game is very free to play, uh, free to play friendly. Between the tech points, you get two free multis a month. They throw a decent amount of free pulls at you. Um, a lot of people uh, claim, "Well, my other gotcha has a free pull every day." That's really cool. I don't really care about a free single every day. I mean, it'd be cool, but. I'd rather they give us enough scout tickets for free throughout an event that we can do a multi for free, um, or at least do, you know, five of them or whatever all at once, you know, you're not just trying to remember to do your pull every single day. Um, so it, it's fine for free to play players. They throw a decent amount of free summons at us, uh, free scout tickets, and I mean, you can just you get by with free units, B's, uh, A's, uh, the event units, uh, event limited units that we get, the A's and B's there. They're very generous. We're about to get a free S in Arena, uh, as long as that's the same as JP. Um, and then Whales, I just compared the price on our $80 uh, pack, uh, Gem Pack F, to what Doken charges for about the same uh, value in multi summons although that game has higher rates but again gotcha's evolve that game also has hundred of uh hundreds of uh what they call ssrs the same as s ranks in this game uh this game has 21 right now i think so it's it's a little different like it's got to have lower rates i'm not arguing about that um but anyway yeah the the their premium pack for the most value for uh you know, paying a uh, higher price is about the same. Uh, the problem is the middle players. Players that will not make any purchases in a gacha unless it's a, a bargain, a, a good price. And my argument is that event sales allow you to get money out of players that you wouldn't get either way. It's You're not giving them more value for what you were going to get out of them anyway, you're going to get something where you would have gotten nothing. Uh, now, some of my points that I'm going to list, and also, I'm sorry, this is just me making a video, getting my thoughts out there. Malcolm seemed interested the other day when I caught him in the Discord. I I apologize, I do feel a little conceited, just as some random nobody that makes YouTube videos trying to give Square Enix my thoughts, but I thought maybe we'd get some community feedback and... I don't know, just... I know there's a lot of guys, smart guys walking at... Uh, smart guys working at Square, but... I don't know, I've played video games for a while, so... I mean, I'll just give my feedback. Uh, but yeah, there's... You're not really... The pricing for gems in this game is not enticing to... 
uh, low spending players. Uh, the gem packs B and C are pretty worthless, uh, honestly. Uh, you might get some people that are desperate to finish off a, uh, just get enough for a multi or to finish off a stamp card, sure. Uh, I think maybe the intent is to have this be a, uh, set it a, a value that could allow you to buy the, you know, the gem, uh, the, uh, item packs that go for about, uh, 500 or a thousand gems, but, uh, you're not getting paying players with things like that, so... Uh, that's for people that are already buying the more expensive gem packs. Uh, gem pack D, I think the communities talk about this a lot, so I'll just throw this in here. Gem pack D is pretty scummy. All right, we we really love Dragon Quest. We like Square. Um, this is um, this is really rude to do to your fans, to your players. The twenty nine forty gems with a uh, two hundred and forty bonus that at the very last second it's specified that they count as free gems. So when you buy the gem pack D specifically to do a 3,000 gem paid multi, you come to the realization that you have to come and buy gem pack A as well. Really not that big a deal. You, dude, you want to charge $25 for gem pack D and have it be 3,000 gems? Everybody would be cool with that. Um, this is just a really scummy thing to do, 60 gems under for the paid thing. I also think that you need to change this bonus term here to free. And have a bigger asterisk somewhere uh, before the paid screen saying that these will not count as paid gems. That's really, really scummy, guys. I, I love you, but um, that's scummy. Uh, gem Pack E is, again, there's some players that are going to need this, but I kind of, I disregard this. I'm either doing this for, you know, just barely getting a paid uh, uh, metal card or a multi, um, sorry, paid multi in the beginning. Or I'm looking at gem pack F. And this is what I'm going to concentrate on for what I believe that um, would be make good event sales. Uh, gem pack F, my big idea is, um, well, if you're looking at, if you're in a situation where you have, you know, zero gems or close to it, you're, I think the best way to scout in this game, I think we all know this, um, is you if you start a banner, I think you should aim for filling out the stamp card. Now, if you're just going for the featured, uh, which should be most people, after you've played this game for a few months, the general pool S ranks are less of a concern to you. So after you pull the featured, I mean, you're either going for copies or you just wanted the one. So uh, basically, if if I, I in my opinion, if you start a, a stamp card and you get the featured in two or three pulls, go ahead and stop it. But for the most part, if you start a stamp card, you want to finish it. And on that note, I think the gem pack F should reflect that more. Uh, now, I'm not saying that we should be able to complete a stamp card for eighty thousand, but or uh, for eighty dollars. Um, now, I mean, in reality, gotchas are pretty expensive, so it's I don't know. It's ridiculous to spend so much on a video game, but hey, we're playing a gotcha already. We accept it. Um, but right now, if you're at zero stones, you're looking at $240 plus tax uh, to complete a stamp card. Uh, now, granted, that gives you a little bit of spillover gems, but my idea are uh, event sales that bring this up to, maybe with bonus gems, bring it to an even 15000 or something like that uh, to allow two gem pack Fs to allow you to complete a, uh, a stamp card. I don't think that's ridiculous. Uh, I think your whales are often still going to complete more than one stamp card, so you're only losing, uh, you're not losing all of their sales. Uh, they're still going to spend more. Some players will be of the mindset that they'll spend more in total since they started off with a deal. Um, I would also, uh, and then concentrating on gem pack D, if you guys are smart enough and considerate enough to actually bring this up to 3,000 paid gems, um, having something like a one to three times per event sale listing on this, uh, perhaps $10. Players that play Gotcha often would see $10 for a multi as a great deal. That's the kind of thing that they wouldn't want to pass on when normally they wouldn't spend a dime. Um, and then, no. My game, Doken Battle, they often have uh, 
they have daily deals on the one dollar pack to make it either uh, three or five stones. Um, five stones is a single on there. Fifty is a uh, double. So maybe having a a deal that daily gives this uh, makes this three hundred gems, perhaps. Um, although I feel like the value of single pulls in this game is even less than in the other one, but that's kind of semantics. Uh, but yeah, again, I don't, I don't know. B and C, I think, uh, are the kind of thing maybe you could put bonus gems on or like, you know, my idea for gem pack D, maybe you make that for, uh, gem pack, uh, B or C, you know, try to get $10 out of somebody that wouldn't spend it anyway, make it enough so that they get a, a multi summon and, I mean, again, I'm trying to, yeah, this is kind of anti-player in the end. I'm trying to, again, I'm, it's conceded to say that you don't have people with these ideas already anyway, but, you know, and get money out of people that didn't want to, that weren't going to spend it in the first place. That's what um, event sales can do. I kind of, I don't really know why the pricing is the way that it is right now, because it really is not enticing at all to mid-tier players it's it's free to play friendly and it's whale friendly and you're just leaving out uh, a large portion now i'll give you that the metal cards uh are a good value but it's just you know it's not enough you might get a gem pack d out of them uh once a month or so but that's about it so i think i've gone on long enough i'm sorry if this was a stupid video and i probably left some things out i made I made some notes, but um, basically, I just think that the, you know, we need a, because here's, the, I, I only, like, bring up these ideas because, well, first of all, it'd be nice if I could have gems be a little more affordable. I definitely would enjoy that, but um, I really love playing this game, and I know that if gotchas don't make enough money, uh, they're not going to stick around, and I'm pretty sure everyone here is a Dragon Quest fan, but we all know that, um, the world doesn't lo love uh, Dragon Quest half as much as Japan does. This is a Japan-centric game, and, I mean, we didn't even get most of the Dragon Quest titles over here for over a decade, um, which was a huge bummer. Uh, so anyway, I just, yeah, I really want this to stick around. I want this game to be more profitable for Square so that we can play it. And, again, um, you know what? Go. I, I would really love community feedback on here just to... I don't know if you guys can tell me that you think I'm right, why you think I'm wrong, um, even for the community manager, uh, Malcolm, to read it and feel how people uh, see how people feel. Um, I know that it's not just easy to uh, change these things overnight, but I don't know. Just wanted to put my thoughts out there. So if you did uh, watch, thank you. I'm sorry. It's a little late for me here. I'm a little tired. So sorry for the poor... Um, for me not being able to keep my thoughts in line tonight. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment. Have a great night, guys.